Hey guys, let's check out the Caribbean today. Today we are at the world's shortest runway. Now yes, we are on the Caribbean island of Saba today. As you can see, it's it's an island indeed. They're not lying about that. And well, yeah, an island has to have an airport. And this is what this island's airport looks like. Now, this airport is located at pretty much the only flat area on this island. This is only a 400 meter runway. Yes, 400 meter or 1,000 feet. I'm pretty sure two A380s are as long as this runway. Let's go ahead and fly some planes here. Like this 777, but let's begin smaller. We don't want to die immediately. What airplane should we try? Now, this is the Cirrus Vision Jet. I really like to fly that plane. It's just amazing. Look at this beauty. Whatever. The problem about this plane, though, is that it needs quite a long runway, especially when you think about how small this plane is. This plane only seats seven people. Let's go ahead. Oof. That was a bit very, very close. Now, that's when our parachute comes into play. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. But we have a parachute in this plane as well, which is very, very nice. Look at how blue this water is. Now, this was a very close takeoff, closer than I wanted it to be. Oh, yeah. So let's try a bigger plane. Now, this plane is really a long take offer, so we will have better luck with bigger planes. Now, now, actually, the biggest plane that flies here really is the Twin Otter, which is this one. Now, I think Wind Air operates the plane here. But you know what? I'm going to make a dedicated video on the Twin Otter later on. Let's just test out some planes that are not supposed to be used at this airport. Now, how about the X-Cub? Just kidding. That does not even need a runway at all, actually. <laughs> Maybe we can continue with the King Air. I'm really not confident about this, so let's use the whole runway. Alright, let's see if this is gonna work out. The King Air is a little bit more resistant when it comes to short runways, I guess. Ah, uh, this was fine, totally fine. So, yeah, that was no issue at all. Now let's move on to a jet now, to a real jet, to a private jet. I'm really not sure. Oh my god. Oh no. That was really not good. Okay, let's go a little bit slower this time around. I can already say that this is going to be a hard landing. Oh, that was a bit too hard. Please stop. Now, yes, maybe this landing properly damaged this plane, but we survived, right? Oh, this was a successful landing, right? Now, let's step up the game now. Let's try a C-130. Now, that one is a very tough plane when it comes to being able to operate on short runways. Actually, it can be used on a carrier as well. So, let's see. That was not a very beautiful landing, but we might stop. We might just stop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now as it turns out, I forgot about landing gear, but oh, but a stop is a stop. But we can save that. Well, this plane is able to operate here. I mean, we can try the E-145 from Embraer, or as I like to call it, Embra. All right, we'll come on board the Embra 145, whatever. This is a typical, you know, short haul airliner. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, no. Let's not forget about flaps. Oh, we might just make it. Or not. Or not. Or not. This was a normal takeoff, no worries. This was not close at all. Now, this was actually okay. I mean, we could now normally climb, so that's not an issue. That's good. Now, I really wonder how we should move on. Let's try the MD-80. I mean, what do we technically have to lose other than an airplane? You know, you know what? Let's just use every inch of this runway. Full power takeoff. Uh-oh. Right, we're at 80 knots. We're not going to make this. We have now turned this plane into a boat. I do have to say this is kind of unfortunate. Now, I really don't know what aircraft I should fly next. You know what? Let's just go for a 737. But we're going to use the special version of the 737, which has more advanced engines, I would say. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and land this plane. Now, yes, I kind of did an engine upgrade. They have a bit more thrust than the normal 737 engines. Let's see if these can help us land slash stop. This seems like a pretty nice island, doesn't it? But you just have a logistical problem. Actually, most people come here by helicopter anyway, but yeah. Now, how am I going to make this? 
Oh my goodness. This was actually kind of a perfect landing. Okay, maybe not. But as you can tell, it is very much impossible to stop this plane here. Let's see if taking off works. Again, we have a bit more powerful engines that we can use for taking off. That worked. And that was really quick. We were actually airborne before the runway ended. Now we had a very, very minor tail strike, but that does not matter. Now this is kind of hopeless. Let's just go for a triple seven. I mean, what do we have to lose after all, other than an airplane? Let's try the other side of the runway now. Now we will probably struck our wings into this hill there. But now this is obviously not going to work. I'm just gonna try this for comedic reasons. Oh, we're a bit fast actually. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just impossible to use big planes at this airport. No, get back onto the runway, please. Uh. All right, let's see if a 747 can fly here. Definitely not, but I guess we have not tried yet. Okay, that didn't work. Now, to give this video a little bit more sense, let's also try out the Let Turbolet plane. Now, that is a bit similar to the Twin Otter, but actually not at the same time, whatever. This one is a very, very, very tough plane when it comes to being able to operate on short runways. Let me just quickly demonstrate that. And we will rotate in a few seconds, which is now. Oh yes, indeed, this was very, very quick and easy. <laughs> and also, landing this plane is not an issue. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure to do a little bit of a butter landing this time around. Right. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know how this was physically possible, but it was pretty awesome. This was actually the first successful landing of today. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.